Hey everyone, this is Ed from Tech Talk. In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to activate or reactivate your Windows operating system. You know, maybe you your computer updated and for some reason it deactivated. Um, I know it sounds crazy, but it happens. So today's video, I'm going to show you how to activate or reactivate your Windows 8. 10 or 11 i would love to encourage you to subscribe all right so first thing we're going to do is i'm just going to show you how to to um determine whether or not your system is active or activated click the start flag go to settings and then we're going to scroll down to update and security and then we're going to click activation and it might be slightly different on your computer, but as you can see, this one is not activated. So what I'm gonna do is have you open up PowerShell and please don't be afraid, this is really simple. Just start typing in PowerShell and you'll probably see it pop up right here. So just right click it and run as administrator. Go ahead and hit yes on the user account control setting when it pops up. And then once it loads like this, down in the description, you're going to find a couple of lines of code. So I'm going to try this one first. And see if it works on this machine. So I'm going to hit Control V. And then I'm going to hit Enter. And as you can see, that failed. So I'm going to go to the next line of code. And I'm going to control or hit control copy and then i'm going to do control v and i just wanted to show you that it's okay to run this because if, if the one code or the one line of code does not work it's just going to fail so it's not a big deal you're not going to hurt anything so go ahead and hit enter when you type this one in or copy and paste and then if it works you're going to see this pop up and I'm doing this in real time so that you can see that it's it's actually pretty quick. Um, this is taking a little bit longer than usual, but I am running in a, a virtual machine. So now you'll see this list. So what you're going to do is you'll see Windows right here and the number one. Well, I'm going to hit number one on the key. Select one. And it's still running. So as you can see, it's starting to do um, a check. So installing generic product key, and it says successful. Um, So it seems like it's moving along. So the Windows 10 Pro is permanently activated with a digital license now. I was going to pause it for you, but then I, I now that I see that it's running through a little bit quicker. So um, now it looks like it's complete. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter inside here. And we're right back to the beginning. So now you can just close out of this. And we can close out of the PowerShell. So let's go back in now and see if this one here. I may have to actually reboot it um, for it to for the for it to take effect. So I will scroll down, go to update and security, go to activation. And as you can see, it's Windows is activated with a digital license. So um so please consider hitting like and subscribe if this helps you. If you have any questions, please comment below. I'd be more than happy to help you out. If you're interested in learning how to do this with Windows 7, um, just comment below. All right. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.